Hello, my PPC family and friends. Pastor Brian here with another Quick Bite, Living the Word. So today our words are going to come 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And I just want to read to you real quickly here. I, the Lord really put upon my heart this morning for some reason that we needed to hear the gospel again. Uh, just what the gospel is, the simple truth of the gospel and how beautiful it is, but yet how simple it really is. Now, simple in the sense of uh, there's not a, a lot of complexity to it. Not simple in the cost thereof. It cost our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, everything. Ms. Sean and I were talking about that a little bit last night with Jaden, actually, all of the three of us in our Bible study uh, last night. Uh, we were talking about the beauty of what Christ chose when he chose to come in the form of a babe to be born. Everything he laid aside, everything he had laid aside that he knew in heaven, he laid aside for us, for the love of us, knowing fully what he was going to experience when he got here. Knowing fully everything he was going to go through, he still chose to be born because he loved us. And that really reminded me of just the great greatness of the simplicity of, and the beauty of, and the preciousness of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I want to share just real quick, uh, one of the things I love about the Apostle Paul, the Apostle Paul, uh, he kind of gives these nuggets, that's the best way I can put it. He's like, he just is sometimes so succinct in exactly what he says, he can explain in five minutes what most pastors, myself included, take five hours to try to explain. And he just is like, boom, there it is, deal with it. And we're always like, okay, here it is. Now let me tell you, let's you know, massage this into you, whatever the case may be. But here's the point. Listen to what the Apostle Paul has to say in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and pick up at verse 1 about the gospel and what the gospel is. It says, moreover, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel, the gospel, which I preached unto you, which also ye have received and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved. If you keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye believed in vain. For I delivered unto you. Now, I'm going to pause here for one second. So no, so he's actually talking to the brethren here. He's like, I'm reminding you, brethren, of the gospel, what the gospel is. And this is the point. I want you to understand that you stand in the gospel. You don't stand in your works. You don't stand in your church. You don't stand in your family. You don't stand in your college. You don't stand. You stand in the gospel. In the Lord, if I can put it to you that way. He says, now, here is the gospel. For I delivered unto you, verse 3, for I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures, and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve, and after that he was seen of above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, but some are fallen asleep. There we go. I'm just going to stop right there. Listen to what the gospel was, that Christ died for our sins, according to the scriptures, that he was buried and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. That is the good news. That's what the gospel is all about. It's about that Jesus chose to do all that for you, despite the fact that he knew you, knows you and knew exactly what you would do with it. Stand in that promise, brothers and sisters, that he chose you. He loves you so much. He chose to come in the form of a babe, to be put upon a cross, to die according to the scriptures, to be buried according to the scriptures, and to raise again the third day according to the scriptures. All this he did that he might restore his relationship with you. So don't ever think that you are not of great value. That's the simplicity and the beauty of the gospel. That's what makes it such good news because he did it all for you. All you have to do now is live in what he's done for you. I love you. We love you. God loves you. And God's got this.